Hi, I'm Tony Northrup and I'm in the studio today because one of my portrait clients had a baby. The great thing about a baby photo shoot is that you don't actually need a full studio. You can get by with tiny little sets built around the baby and some natural diffused light. In fact, though I'm using my strobes, uh, I'm just using the modeling lights. I wouldn't ever fire a strobe to a baby because the bright light would be upsetting to them. You'll need three people to do a good baby shoot. You need the photographer yourself, You'll need the parent to help clean and feed the baby, and you'll need a third person to help work the backdrops and to assist in posing the baby. Because the baby's probably going to be naked during the shoot, you'll want to have an electric heater running in the room just to raise the temperature above where you'd normally keep it. So let's take a look at the three different sets that I made for today's shoot. So my first set here only cost about $20. This is a piece of white imitation fur that you can get from a fabric store. I have it propped up with a piece of foam core board but any piece of cardboard would do. And I'm supporting it with a stool for my kitchen, but you could use a chair or anything else. Underneath the bottom there, I've put a pillow to give the baby a comfortable place to rest. All you really need for lighting is to hang a shear over any window in your house to give a nice diffused light. Because I'm in a studio, I went ahead and put a soft box on a boom and then pointed a couple of lights into a reflector so that the baby would be indirectly lit. So this is my favorite set, it's a nest. This is made from a wicker wreath. To it I've added some brown fur-like fabric with a pillow underneath for the baby to rest on. You wanna make sure the baby's skin doesn't come in contact with the uh, sharp wicker. I've added some feathers as props to make it a more bird-like environment. Um, underneath it I've added Spanish moss and green moss to provide the backdrop. None of the white backdrop will appear in the pictures. I've also added some very large artificial leaves to help make the baby seem even smaller. The lighting is exactly the same as before. A soft box and two strobes on their modeling lights pointed into reflectors. My last set is all black. All you need is two large pieces of black muslin that you can get from any photo store. Tape one to the wall or hang it from a curtain and drape the other over the mother's shoulders. You'll use this to cover her body so that only her forearms are exposed. She'll hold the baby in different positions in front of the black backdrop and the baby just appears to be floating. If you happen to have a DSLR, you can use the exposure compensation to fix some potential problems. With the um, black backdrop, you might need to crank the exposure compensation down because the camera will try to turn the black gray. With the white backdrop, you'll need to do the opposite, turn the exposure compensation up until the white backdrop appears nice and white. For more information, check out my book, Stunning Digital Photography, specifically chapter six, which covers portraiture, including uh, children of all ages and adults. You can get Stunning Digital Photography at Amazon in either print or ebook form. If you like this video, click like down below or subscribe up above to see more.